there's a new large language model that has come out and it is called bad gpt it is from wuhan university china i'm not making this up this is not a joke there is a new llm called bat gpt from wuhan university i'm going to leave that joke aside uh, because this is going to be like a serious video but i could not stop and think about the name and the place at least like for a couple of minutes because this is unbelievable match anyways what is bat gpt a bidirectional auto regressive talker from gpt a generative pre trained transformers now before we jump into this paper in itself i would like to first clarify what is a bidirectional model here so for that we need to see a quick difference between what is a unidirectional auto regressive model and what is a bidirectional auto regressive model and how these two models differ in their approach to start with unidirectional auto regressive models for example your gpt2 gpt3 of the worlds these are unidirectional auto regressive models unidirectional auto regressive models generally generate text by only considering the context of the input in a sequential manner so you type from left to right so the model is going to attempt to predict what is going to be the next word in the right direction so these models are based on the assumption that future words in the generated text would or should only depend on the preceding word so in the typical fashion about how most of the english speaking countries write so from the left to right it can do that in other words they generate text one word at a time conditioning each word on the previously generated word like i said this is like your gpt2 and gpt3 of the world but there is a different architecture that is called a bidirectional architecture or a bidirectional auto regressive model now what is a bidirectional as you might have easily guessed at this point instead of considering only one direction it can consider both the direction now you might be wondering how is it even possible how does the training process happen if you have to consider both the sides and that is where um, a model like bert b e r t which like completely ruled the world before before all these hyperbot llms so model like bert is called bidirectional encoder representation from transformers that's what bert stands for bert is pre trained by training on a masked language model objective where it predicts missing words in a sentence imagine like you have got a sentence i went to and my car was missing now all the model has to do is what is that fill in the blanks like what does what is the word that is in the middle and that's why it is capable of understanding both the sides so this approach allows bert to learn contextual representations by considering both left and right context of each word both of these approaches have their unique um, um, advantages and disadvantages but that's enough about unidirectional and bidirectional now jumping back into the paper let's understand what this model is now at the fundamental level we know what is this model it's uh, in the modeling level we employ a bidirectional auto regressive architecture that allows the model to efficiently capture the complex dependencies of natural language making it highly effective in tasks such as language generation dialogue system and question and answering moreover the bidirectional auto regressive model not only operates from left to right but also right to left effectively reducing fixed memory effects and alleviating model hallucinations this is a very important aspect the current large language model landscape suffers from two problems one is the memory problem and the second one is the hallucination problem you can somehow say that these two problems are kind of intertwined but you know that's for another discussion so hallucination happens because the input sequence when it becomes too long the model loses track of what is it trying to create model memory is a problem because sometimes it's very hard for it to take the entire thing into context so because of this this paper claims that bat gpt or the bidirectional model that they are proposing here can handle both these situations much better than the current large language models like gpt's the gpt world that we have got and they have also gone ahead done instruct fine tuning they have also gone ahead and then done rlhf reinforcement learning with human feedback now if you get into the details of how the model is been trained um the kind of data set that they have used and uh, you can also see how they did rlhf like how they 
efficiently you know like selected what should be the right answer and how did they create the reward model one of the things that caught my eye is that they are using a benchmark that is specific to the china world like it's it's not a very popular benchmark in the english speaking world so if you see this benchmark which is called cmmlu it stands for chinese oriented large language models so if you see cmllu benchmark you can see that bad GPT, the 15 billion parameter model, quite doing really good in terms of STEM. Like if you collectively look at STEM and even otherwise it um, it is closer to chat GLM, which like was like a breaking news when this model was launched. So chat GLM, um, like everybody said like this is like the uh, GPT-4 equivalent in the China world. Like I'm not going to get in the conversation, but if you see the STEM model, bad gpt um, is much scored much higher than the chat glm but also if you look at you know the other aspects bad gpt is not bad bad gpt is doing pretty good in all the other aspects and the authors of this paper are attributing this also primarily due to the way this model can learn which is the bi-directional learning process so overall this model does not entirely solve the hallucination or limited memory as a thing but this model is a really a level up from the current architecture that we have got and how we are you know trying to cope up with the issues like a limited memory and hallucination overall i found it really fascinating to see people trying to do something different from the current llm architecture like even like going back in history and then trying to get get models like you know there is there is an rnn based model now we have got like um, a bi-directional model so it's quite interesting for us to see how this is um, improving but unless until like we have got an english model and uh, our english focused model based on this architecture we cannot compare the benchmarks and that might be not quite easy for us to say like this is like fairing this uh, when you compare it with falcon or uh, you know all the existing models but as a whole once again bat gpt from wuhan university is like a promising direction for this entire llm space and i would like to hear from you what do you feel about this model um, and um, if you have got any thoughts about the approach that they've taken see you in another video happy prompting